going on guys good morning and welcome to beautiful Alabama Hills yesterday I took off fairly late I want to say around 12 I wanted to embark on a small journey where I not only travel solo but also scout different areas that are out of my comfort zone and that is exactly what I did yesterday I took off at 12 from Downey and I got to the Lone Pine area right around 3.30. So that gave me about, I want to say, four or five hours to just drive around and scout new locations, places that I've never seen, places that I've never been to. And uh, it was an absolute blast, guys. If you guys haven't done that before, it's nice just driving, listening to music, enjoying all the different scenery that's around you. And um, man, Alabama Hills, the Eastern Sierras, if you ever drive through here and, and just explore it, it's pretty gnarly what you'll see out here. I was actually using this little guy, this little guy right here. This is my Garmin uh, InReach Mini 2. Um, and when you sign up for their subscription, uh, you basically get full access to their maps. You could download uh, their maps and yeah, this came in handy. I got it because you can also stay in contact uh, via satellite with your family members in case something happens or you want to just give them a quick, you know, hello, I love you, whatever it is. But I was home and I was just kind of looking through the app and I'm like, dude, this thing, this thing is sick. Like, it's all there. And uh, yeah, I decided let's go out, let's do some exploring. Um, and we're here, we're here. I do miss Sold, <laughs> my little my little partner in crime when we go camping, but there's a heat wave going on right now here in California, and it's supposed to be like 110 out here. I don't feel like it's 110, especially not right now, but I didn't want to risk her being out here in the heat and possibly have a heat stroke or just being miserable uh, underneath the car trying to get some shade. But yeah, we're here, finally ate some good breakfast, some classic old eggs and bacon to get the morning started, got some cold brew going. And now we're gonna just pack up real quick and we're gonna just continue exploring. I wanna bring you guys along. You'll be surprised, all the hidden gems that are out here. So let's clean up and hit the road. So before I continue traveling north to our next destination that we're going to be exploring, I wanted to stop by at a very famous mine here in Lone Pine by the name of Reward Mine. Uh, this place has a lot of history behind it. It's got a huge cave that you can drive through with my truck and the height of the camper. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, but I still want to take it off my checklist and check it out. So I just made it to the trailhead and you can already see remains of the mine up there including a big water tank that's just randomly sitting there. I was reading that this trail, it is moderate and you do need a high clearance vehicle. So just to be safe, I am gonna be airing down to 18 to make the ride a little more comfortable and prevent the tires from puncturing up on the trail, especially cause I'm by myself. So we're gonna air down and head on up.
that rock right there. So the problem is not the entrance, it's that rock right there. It's leveled to my camper and they still have load bars back there. Ah, what a bummer. So unfortunately the truck will stay behind. We have our flashlight. And we'll go inside, walk some way and see. See what this place is all about. Oh my God, it feels nice in here. Dude, I would totally camp here if my truck fit. Just because right now outside, like I was telling you guys, there's a heat wave and it's right around, I don't know, 100 and, 112 out there. And in here, it's gotta be way cooler than that. So. Check this place out. Oh, it definitely goes quite some way. So I was doing some research on this mine and uh, they actually found this mine in the 1870s and it produced lots of gold, lots of silver and this is a very successful mine. It's pretty sketch, like if I turn my light off. It's pitch black. <laughs> Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. So, yeah, if you do have a Jeep or maybe a regular car that doesn't have a camper, you can actually drive through it. And there's areas where you can pull in and basically turn around and uh, yeah, I really wish the camper would fit or the truck would fit through here. Yeah, this place goes quite some way. Big shout out to Surefire for making some dope lights. Man, I am so bummed that my truck doesn't fit through it or else we'd be inside hanging out. Oh yeah. As soon as you exit, you can feel that heat again. But there is another trail that goes further up. And uh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna continue making our way up maybe this cave has an opening on the other side. I don't know, let's go find out. So before we continue going up, by the way, check out this view. Ooh, so sick. I'm gonna walk up just a bit because it looks like there's a dead end right on that corner where it turns. And, oh yeah, speaking of, the dead end's right here. But it looks like there was a road before and then there was a slide. You can see it there. And uh, I'm glad I didn't keep going because there's no place to turn around here. It's so narrow. But crazy to think that the miners would be up here doing their thing. And if stuff caved in like this, or there was a slide, they had to come, pretty much clean it off. That way they could continue doing their thing. And at this point, we're just exploring, doing our thing. But, oh yeah, there's no way. This goes all the way up there. All right, let's go. A little higher. 
see if there's any more caves. Guys, we've made it. And uh, I'm out of breath. Check out this view. Whew. I gotta start hitting the gym. That's what I gotta do. So there we have it, folks. That is, I don't know, but I'm sure it's part of the mine. And yeah. And there's a truck way out there. What trips me out the most is how brittle everything is. Like everything just breaks off. See that? So to think that these miners would risk their life every day and be carving away and using explosives, dynamite to, you know, basically make holes through the mountain or into the mountain. It's pretty nuts, man. That's, uh, I mean, I'm sure the reward was huge. That's why it's called reward mine. But to risk it all, leave your family behind to bring food to the table, it's pretty nuts. So we are back at the entrance and when I was airing down up on the mountain, there was a few other things that I wanted to check out. Oh dude, look up there. Yep, this place is pretty rad. And I'm so glad I took the time to explore it just a bit. But it was view, guys. It does not get better than this. So where to now? Who knows? All right, so we did some exploring out in the heat. Now we need water, not like drinking water. Like we need to find a place where we can hang out by a lake take a dip, make some food, and hopefully find a campsite nearby. But yeah, look at me. I am red. Red as a lobster, baby. So since we have a few hours to hang out together, we have a three hour drive. What's your favorite munchie for when you're on the road? For snacks to snack on? Mine is beef jerky. Beef jerky keeps you occupied, keeps you chewing, and it tastes absolutely amazing. Especially these. Mmm. Old fashioned flavor. Mmm. So good. Now, what about your favorite drink? Mine is squirt. Mmm. Mmm. Keeps you alive. So we are here trying to get to this little area here, see what it has to offer. If not, we'll go backwards and we will go here. All right, so this spot is pretty nice. Has a nice view, but no access to the water. So we're gonna continue on this trail and see if we can find anything that has access to the water. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Guys, we just found a hidden gem out here in the middle of nowhere. And all it took was a little bit of research, a little bit of mapping, and the Garmin to get us right here. In the middle of nowhere, right next to the lake. We can fish the lake. 
as much as I would want to dip in, there's a bunch of green algae all over, so I'm not going to do that. But this is going to be home for the night, and I'm excited to hang out, make a good meal after a long day of just exploring, and just enjoy a beautiful night. We have some clouds up in the sky. You know what that means? That sunset. It's going to be beautiful. And just like that, we're all set up. That's why I love this canopy camper, man. It tears down really fast. It sets up really fast. By the way, those saltwater fishing rods here at a lake, definitely killing the mood. But we did set up a rod. Hopefully we hear the bells go off. But what's for dinner? That's the question. Yeah, we're gonna be making some grilled ahi tuna tacos. Yes, here at camp in the middle of nowhere with an epic view. Let's go! Now before we get started, I do want to thank my friends at Grill Grates for sending this product over. How clever and smart is this? Now I can grill anything I want. Fish, steaks, chicken. Put it right on top of the, the jet boil and we're done. So guys, you didn't have to send me this. Just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for sending it over. And now we can use it at camp. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. First bite. Wow! That is so good. I think there is three things that I absolutely love about exploring and camping in places like these. First of all, it has to be the exploration portion of it. Exploring a place that you've never explored. Camping, even if your friend is with you and he knows the spot, but just getting to the spot and having no clue, no expectations, just knowing that you're gonna get out and you're gonna be out in nature, that's my number one favorite. Number two has to be the food. Whether I'm cooking it, whether somebody else is cooking it, everything just tastes better at camp. I'm telling you right now, you can cook a fish taco, you can eat a cup of noodles. The cup of noodles will taste four times better at camp than it will at home. Now number three, it has to be driving back home, thinking about everything that my soul took in. Not only that, but getting back home and editing the video for you guys, those three things make it all worth it. And being here today in this beautiful place, just alone by myself, this is what life's about, guys. And I'm not gonna stop saying that. I feel like I say it in every video. That's what life's about. You know, you can work all day, you can grind all day, but if you don't take a break to come out of nature and reset, then why even live? Then why even live? Well, folks, what more can I say Today has been an absolute blast. It's probably been one of my favorite trips to date. And all it took was for me to step out of my comfort zone and simply just drive. I drove for hours and hours just scouting and exploring places that I've never been to. And having a little device like the Garmin or having a nap like All Trails, I believe Onyx Offroad does the same thing. These apps go a long way. They are a very powerful tool for us to use and find places like this today. So it's been dope. 
as always i want to thank you guys so much for always watching for all you guys that are patreon members thank you so much for your support for those of you guys that are subscribed thank you so much for your support and if you're new to the channel and you just happen to land on this video and you enjoyed it do me a favor smash that like button subscribe comment down below and that's pretty much it what more can i say i'm just gonna turn the camera off and simply enjoy this place to myself and bump some music by the way if you made it this far check out this light <laughs> so random right we're about to end the video look at this light Woo! you got different modes and it's actually not only a light but it's a sp it's a speaker too let's see if i can check it out you got that you can change the temperature of the light it's got a little knob up top you can make it brighter and this thing absolutely bumps what i want to do if you've made it this far is give one of these away i think at camp it will set the vibe for you you can play so like i have it up top you can play some music and just enjoy nature all right so i'm going to make this really simple so all you have to do to enter is make sure that you're following me on instagram bus to be george make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and last but not least comment down below in the comment section what area do you plan on exploring next and it will automatically enter you to win this light i'll be picking the winner in the next couple of days i'll be posting it in my community center so keep an eye out for that and as always i'll see you guys in the next video peace